Today we're going to get the latest version of Cody on our Apple TV. So I belong to iPorn Store for TVOS. And I basically just log in and sign in. And here are the Cody's. Um, so we're going to sign and download because I'm already signed in. I have my certificate as Kryptonite. Uh, you pay, you know, 10 bucks a year or whatever it is. So it's waiting for iPorn Store to sign off on it. And as soon as it does, it's going to go into my downloads folder. Now the newest popcorn time is also awesome. I'm going to show you that in the next video. So there goes my IPA that's signed. I'm going to go into Show and Finder in my Downloads folder. And it says Done here, and it's Cody. And it's uh, the build is this one here, 17. It's the latest stable build. And then the, these are probably just more uh, you know, newer build, builds that uh, you could try out. But let's use the most stable nightly, which I think is the build 11. All right, so that's done. Now I just open up my Funbox. It's another app that you use to get into your Apple TV, which is connected to my computer via the USB uh, Type-C to USB 3.0, a wire that we connect to the back of the Apple TV and into my computer. So we hit Install Apps. I'm going to go into my Downloads folder. I'm going to open that up, and you're going to see it right here. So that's the IPA. And now take a look at my Apple TV which I have in dark mode, and uh, like I said, popcorn time is pretty awesome, and I show that to you. So now you see that it's been uh, installed without doing any Xcode or any other crap. You just get the people here at iPorn Store to sign off on it. So we're going to open it up, and now when you have this, you go into uh, File Manager, um, you have to add a source. Now, usually a lot of us, we go in and we fill in, you know, like, uh, TV add-ons.ag and all that stuff, but uh, that doesn't work. So we have another site that I, I want to plot in here, and what it is, it's pretty much a site, a repo that you can put on. It's a program, believe it or not, and it's a script. And it, what it does is it allows you to throw other people's builds uh, into your Apple TV or your Kodi. But in this case, it's Apple TV, and it works pretty good. It's not, uh, the other, the TV add-ons uh, one uh, doesn't work. You know, you try to run the installer or the configurer, and it doesn't work. But this will put it in all those sources and everything else. So let's throw it in here. All right, so here's what we're going to type. Now, I'm using my iPhone as a remote, and I pretty much copied and pasted it. So it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash A-R-E-S wizard, all one word, dot co dot UK. Now, this is a wizard that um, has a bunch of scripts in it. Now, what it has is it has somebody else's entire build of their Kodi, all the things they configured, all the scripts, the add-ons, the, the shortcuts, everything packed in to some sort of zip or script, and then it gets loaded up to you, and then you use it. Now, this is a great way for the Apple TV because there's not a lot of stuff that Apple TV will let you go out and fetch, and it will block you every instant it can. But there are some things that you do get blocked from, and we're going to go over that. So uh, pretty much that is, the, that is what you have to write there. And then we're going to move down here. We'll just name it, okay? So I'm going to name it. Um, a R E S. Okay. And then we'll hit done and we'll move and hit. Okay. So if you did this right, you should get, uh, your heiress here and you'll see that it has a script inside it. Okay. Eris wizard script. So now we go back into settings and then I think we go into add-ons. Yeah. Let's see. Go to add-ons, ah, install from a zip. And now we hit this, we go here and now we are installing that script. Now you have to give it time, be patient. You're going to see it pop up there at the right bottom right corner and it's going to enable it. Okay. So now that it's enabled, what you need to do is you have to go in and go into um, programs. Okay. And when you go into program, you hit the Aris wizard here and it will now install it. Okay. So basically you need to go in programs because it's a program to run a script. You need needed to go and download it, install it from a source, and then you have to enable the zip. So it says here unstable version of Kodi, but you know this is Apple TV. There's no way we can try to get the right version. I mean, maybe some of those test builds on the iPod Store might work, but uh, you know probably not. So here it is. It pops open the wizard automatically when it's done, and basically you can now browse the builds. Now to log in, that's if you're going to throw a build on there yourself. You're one of your builds, uh, but basically we can browse the builds. Now. Um, we can go and there's different types of builds. There's this one, that one, you know, and you got to wait for the picture to show up. So you kind of get a little look at what it looks like. And pretty much these people build different skins, different 
um, you know, diff just a whole bunch of different things. Okay, so I'm going to try to find one that pretty much loaded quick. I tried like 10, 10 of them, and a lot of them work great. It's a, it's amazing. Um, so let me just you know move down the line. I think uh, let me try this one because this one uh, did pretty fast. This is like a UK build, um, and it's got its own little thing. And, and, and wait till you see it. So uh, before we do that, uh, up on top here we have browse add-on, so you can add on. Let's go up there and take a look. So you can pretty much browse add-ons just if you wanted to throw some add-on video add-ons in there like that, you know, Phoenix and all that other stuff. Or you can, you know, put some programs on here, advanced settings programs, and then you can add some repositories, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, Xunity is there, a whole bunch of other one, other ones there. You know, there's tons of them, right? So that's pretty cool. And a lot of them will install, but some of them are broken. You know, some of them are old. Now, even when you put somebody's build on your Apple TV, you know, a lot of those links may be broken too. I can't promise you anything. You know what I mean? Um, so we got the backup. If you want to back up your stuff, you can select the destination and all that stuff. Let me see some. Uh, yeah, so we, we can pick a backup folder and all that stuff, even on the Apple TV. Oops, sorry. I uh, escaped out of there. So we'll let that load back up again. Sorry about that. And um, once it loads up, We'll just uh, continue now because it's going to take a while. Uh, check for updates. Yeah, yeah, we know about that. And let's go back into it because I came out of it by accident. All right, so here we are. So you can do maintenance, you can do backups, and you know you can pick tweaks, advanced setup wizard, and all that stuff. And then you can go more and you know get a whole bunch of system information, and then change some of your settings here and all that stuff. So let's uh, not go all the way out again like I did before, and let's go into browse a uh, build browse builds and we'll do the one that you know loaded fairly quick just to give you an idea now you could try all these different ones and right before you it installs after it un, uh, downloads it'll unzip and it'll ask you if you want to back up your uh, current build but you know with the Apple TV you basically can just you know delete it from your Apple TV the Kodi app and just reinstall it again and it'll be fresh clean you know um, and you know this didn't take out this is not going to take a lot of time you know it's going to be fairly quick let's throw that build in we're gonna do you could do fresh start um, and I like this build because I like the way it looked. Do Nemesis. I'm gonna hit install. So it's going to um, install this, and it's gonna take a little bit, maybe about five, ten minutes. So we're gonna fast forward the video, and I'll show you what happens after it downloads. Okay, we're just about done downloading it, and now it's going to unpack it. It's extracting the files, all the scripts, the JPEGs, the Packages, modules, all this different stuff, um, plugins, all that stuff. This is all the stuff that that person configured their uh, Kodi app and threw it up on the Aris Wizard. So it's almost uh, you know done. It's doing the Sports Devil now. You know it's doing all these different things. And when we open this up, you're going to see a lot of different repos and sources and apps and programs and you know all, all sorts of things that you can use with this Apple TV version. Now remember, this is the Apple TV version. The Apple TV version is a pain in the butt. There's a lot of dependencies that it doesn't have. Um, so, you know, bear with me. Uh, I think this is just an easy way to get all these things on there. So let's wait for that to go. Okay, we're just about done. So now what's going to happen is it's going to tell you that uh, you can back up your default skin and profile and all that stuff. But, you know, I really don't care. Like I said, I can just delete. And uh, Cody needs to be closed. So we have to hit OK, and it will boot out and it cannot be automatically closed so we're going to close it all right so we're going to go down here we're going to hit close and exit and it's going to exit from the apple tv uh, it might take a little bit because there are some things going on in the background or you can just double tap your home button and swipe away so now we're going to open up cody again so we'll load up cody again and we're going to wait we're going to wait for everything to start loading up okay so if we go into file manager, just while we're waiting, you're going to see a whole bunch of different other things now that you have. Okay, so now the XBMC library auto updater is going, and it's going to update. It takes a while. There's a lot of things that we have to do. But meanwhile, we can look and see that we have a whole bunch of new stuff in here. Extreme Sports. We have Cartoons. We have Navi X. We have Phoenix. We have Sports Devil. We have Cartoons. We have all this stuff. It's going crazy. Okay, now I recommend that we go into system settings and um, let's go into add ons. This might not show up right away. No, 
So uh, my add-ons, we can go that, and we can see all. And these are all programs and add-ons and different scripts. Now look at all this stuff. You could just go crazy with all this. I mean, there are tons and tons of different content that you would have never got in by yourself, individually putting these in, okay? Tons of Soccer's Phoenix, there it is. And there's a whole bunch of them that are still disabled that you could uh, enable. Um, you know, just tons and tons of stuff. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, um, I know that there's a way to update. Basically, auto-updates. Maybe check for updates. Here we go. So it's going to check for updates. We're going to make, just let it go through all its things. I, I'm sorry. I figured it out. Here it is. And uh, you update, and you're going to see a whole bunch of them working and updating and stuff like that. I would recommend doing that first. And every time you close Cody, make sure you do the double tap and get rid of uh, Cody out of the, uh, the check thing, you know? So we'll let that load up, and, and uh, we're going to start loading up a whole bunch of different things, and it's going to be fun, fun, fun from here on in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions... Leave them in the comics, and I will get back to you. Meanwhile, I'll take a look at all the different things that are loading up there, right in the bottom. Tons and tons of stuff. Have a nice day, and I'll see you on the next video.